All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to take a raster and make all of its values equal to one. And so when this might be useful is let's say, you know, we're building a model or we're trying to highlight areas on the map um, that only fulfill a, a certain set of parameters. So for in this case, let's say we want it to be a certain elevation and only in these two watersheds. So these are two different watersheds that are in raster format that were mapped on this mountain. And uh, when we go to do that calculation in raster calculator, it's a lot easier if we just have these, it, all these cells are just one. So if we add, you know, we're, we're setting up our operation and we have ele the elevation band equals one, the slope band equals one, and then we could have the watershed band equal one. And if we add them all up and get three, then where we know we're in the area we want to be. So it can be, it can have utility to just have these be a uniform value. And that might seem like kind of a complex thing to need to do, um, but it can be really simple. And, you know, there's a number of ways to do this. We can reclassify in different ways, but um, one of the simplest ways is to remember that in, in raster calculator, you can just treat these rasters like they're individual numbers basically, or, or a vector of numbers. And so if we go to raster calculator, <clears throat> um, we can basically say, so if we want these to equal one, right? One easy way to do that is if you do the value in the cell divided by itself, everything's gonna be one. So one divided by one is one, two divided by two is one. So if we do uh, Brush Mountain Watersheds R divided by Brush Mountain Watershed R, and Brush Mountain Watershed 1 is actually a good name for this because we'll hope that all the cells are equal to 1. And we run that. I'll take a second here. But if we turn off our other stuff, we can see that we now all these cells are just equal to 1. Right. So we took that raster and made it all equal to 1. 